Hi, Bali Quartz here again with another video in the moments of history of optical astronomy in Southern Africa. Today's story is another star lure and a Sun Bushman story titled The Evening Star is the Eye of Dusk. This tells how the evening star became Dusk's eye and also explains the strange behavior of the porcupine and the sad call of owl at night. A quick word about the term Bushman. After consulting several sources, it seems like the jury is still out on the political correctness of the terms Bushman and San. The term Bushman still seems to be the most widely accepted word amongst traditional Bushmen, and that San is actually an insulting term to some groups. Whenever we talk about oral cultures, this quote always comes to mind. In oral cultures, words evaporate as they are spoken. The same story can therefore never be told twice in exactly the same way. Just a quick background about the author who preserved these wonderful stories for us to enjoy today. Gideon Retief van Willig was born in Paal in 1859. As a young child, he often traveled with his father, a traveling merchant, to Bushman land. And then at night he was sitting around a fire listening to these fascinating stories being told by the Bushmen. He later became a land surveyor and he opened an office in Calfinia where he started collecting stories in seriousness, eventually publishing up to 60 stories in four volumes of Busman stories. About 10% of these are celestial in origin, which are the ones that we've been sharing here. Most of the celestial stories are in volume 1, titled Mythology and Legends, published in 1919, just about 100 years ago now. To illustrate these, I asked Carol Bota if she could produce these scenes as Bushman paintings. Before doing this, she made a few interesting discoveries while researching the background about Bushman drawings. They often represented water as little squiggly lines or little bubbles. Imaginary lines were drawn with little dots around them, similar to what we would do a dotted line. Now the mantis features in most of their stories, often the head figure. The great water snake they believed was a snake who lived under the earth and carried this shiny stone on its forehead. People often wanted to steal the stone but never managed to. Now the great water snake controlled the lakes and even the rain and dew. People in a trance or shaman state are often depicted with buckheads. Martin Kilkenny, a graphic designer and son of one of our astronomers Dave Kilkenny, also illustrated two of these stories for us. The narration was wonderfully done by Henny Chris Maas, son of Henny Maas from RSG Sterren Planeta fame. Chris Maas also features on RSG these days with his own radio program. The evening star is the eye of dusk. This is the story of how the eye of dusk became the evening star, but also explains the habits of the porcupine and the sad call of owl at night. The son was once a man of the old generation. Everyone around him could see well in the light from his shiny face. However, he was often lazy and slept all day. Then no one could see to gather food or hunt. This made the people angry and they murdered son and their children took his shiny head and tossed it up in the sky where it now shines brightly for everyone to see. Son had two sons. The eldest was Dawn. His work started early in the morning when he had to douse the lights of the stars and then to hang out the blue sky behind which the stars are hidden. With his narrow eye, he could not see well in the dark and went to sleep early. The other son, Dusk, had two large eyes which glowed like fire at night. His job started when his old father, tired from his daily task, dropped down behind the western hills. He then pulled down the blue sky to reveal the stars. His work was done after feeding his father and putting him to bed. Then he was free to party all night. Although they were brothers, Dusk and Dawn never got along since their youth and were always quarrelling. They stayed as far apart as possible the one in the east and the other in the west. Early one morning, they ran into each other and right away began to argue. Dawn grabbed sand and dust to throw into the big eyes of dusk, but he missed. Then Dawn called out, This sand and dust will become mosquitoes and midgets to bite you at night. 
Dusk then grabbed water to throw into the narrow eyes of dawn. This too was miss. So he called out, It will become dew to wet your path in the mornings. Dusk picked a nice girl with large eyes. They got married and had a child. However, Wolf's daughter was in love with Dusk and asked her mother's advice on how to win him over. Her mother said that she must steal the child, which she can then use to lure Dusk into marrying her for the child's sake. Her mother gave her some magic roots, which she ground up and put some in Dusk's wife's food when she was not looking. Dusk was out late that night. His wife got hungry and ate so long. The magic roots caused her to fall into a deep sleep, which gave Wolf's daughter the opportunity to steal the child. When Dusk came home, he found his wife all confused. She could not remember anything, and he could not find the child anywhere. When he wanted to eat, the food tasted bitter, and he realized that his wife was poisoned. He immediately went to dig out medicine roots with which he treated her. She started to remember vaguely, but thought it to be huge mice that stole her child. She slowly turned into an owl, hunted mice at night, and sat weeping for her child in a tree, the way owls still do today. Wolf's daughter realized it is time to take her plan further, and went to dusk with the child. The child changed in the meantime, so he did not recognize it. But the child did, and immediately put out the arms, embraced Dusk, and called him Daddy. This weakened his heart, and he married Wolf's daughter, just as her mother predicted. But the hammerhead bird could see everything that happened, like a mirror in the water, and told the whole story to Dusk. Wolf's daughter overheard this conversation, so she grabbed the child and fled to her parents' house. Dusk was furious, and he ran straight to Wolf's house to kill her. Wolf went out to meet Dusk halfway, calmed him down and told him that he will take him to the place in the mountains where she and the child were hiding. When they got there, Wolf pushed him down the precipice. As Dusk hit the ground, his one big eye burst, but the other shot up in the sky to become the bright evening star. The child wept so much that she weaned away into the porcupine, which still today can be found searching for food in the valleys. Owl also, every night, sits and weeps over her husband and child. Well, I hope you're enjoying these stories. And if you missed any, please go back to my YouTube channel and go and watch them. See you next time. Bye.